In a recent video on Kentucky Home Garage channel, Ramon uh, described how to check for battery parasitic draw using a MODIS scan tool. And the same thing can be done using a picoscope, uh, even the simplest one, the 2204A version. And we can do even better by instructing the picoscope program to beep at us or save the uh, frame, the waveform, into a file when the voltage, the battery voltage, goes below 10 volts, for example, or when the uh, current uh, that is drawn exceeds a certain value. I'm not going to use a real car battery for the test. Uh, instead, I'm going to just use a mock-up uh, uh, circuit over here that consists of a battery, an LED, and a resistor. And also there is a button and another resistor to increase the current through the circuit when necessary. Channel A will measure the battery voltage and channel B will be measuring the voltage drop on this resistor. So in a sense, the current going through the circuit. So let me just uh, connect the 9 volt battery and we'll uh, switch to the picoscope program. Now that we ran the picoscope uh, program, uh, let's change its settings. So we uh, set the channel A to plus minus 20 volts, change channel B to plus minus 5 volts. Uh, change the time base uh, to quite a large value, 10 seconds per division, uh, so that when we start the capture, we are going to have uh, 1 minute and 40 seconds fitting into one waveform frame. So let's uh, separate the values a little bit. Okay, so the channel A is our battery voltage and uh, channel B is representing uh, the voltage drop on our resistor, so uh, in some sense it's our current. And now when we have enough uh, of the values on the screen and the values stabilized are stabilized, then we will be ready to add our masks. So I think we are ready to do that right now. So we go to the tools masks, add masks. For channel A, we click generate and it uh, suggests to uh, have a 2 volt window around the current value that we have and I think that's all right. And don't forget to click apply. Once you do that, you'll have this uh, window uh, visible where it considers those values are OK and outside those values are bad. That's where the alarm will go off. Uh, we will now need to do the same thing for channel B. We click generate. It suggests a 500 millivolt window and probably it's OK. It really depends on the current that you are measuring, um, your amp clamp. So you might have to play around with those values. But now let's uh, use the default value of 500 millivolts and then not forget to click apply again. So now we'll see that we also have the mask around for channel B. And we are done with the masks. The last thing, but not least, is that we need to set up the alarms. The alarms will happen on the masks fail event. So let's um, mark it down. And by default it's beeping. We will also add saving into a file. So we'll save the current buffer into a file. It suggests the file with the name of the current date. Uh, that should work fairly well for us, but uh, you can play around whether you save PS data or something else. 
for example, if I want to look at the values later on in a text editor, I will just use the CSV file and we are done. Now, if we start the experiment, we will have window for each of the channels set up and once those windows once the values are outside of those windows then the program will start beeping at us so let's uh, just demonstrate I'm going to press a button on my circuit increasing the current and we will see that on the uh, screen but also when the frame uh, switches it will beep at us and save uh, the frame into the file know that it will on, not that it will happen not right away but only when the picoscope uh, reaches the end of the frame so we will know about this event happening within about two minutes so we've heard the beep and also it uh, saved the CSV file uh, the experiment worked perfectly the current was out of range and one interesting feature that Picoscope has is that it will still show us in this window you see that faint uh, ghost is where the current went so even if you don't look at the uh, saved file and the frame switches you still know how far the current went okay so you have seen how the masking works uh, it will work both when the current goes outside of that window and when the battery voltage goes outside the specified window uh, so if you have a good sound system then uh, you will hear the beeps and uh, you know can go and uh, check what's going on whether the draw is too much or whether the battery voltage suddenly went down and then start your diagnosis over there so this has been a fairly technical description but if you like this video and want to see more of that those uh, go to check uh, my channel subscribe and comment